Okay, I've got a, a four part question to on I'm answering this on video recording now. So um all right, I'll start with the integrating the 12 steps, which is what I teach. Integrate the 12 steps, um, Course in Miracles and Hawkins' work of enlightenment all simultaneously is what I teach. But how do you sort of manage the dualities? Because um Hawkins' work is talking about um um, you know, uh, the final runway dissolving the ego and is not so much about integrating the 12 steps or even, of course, the miracles is going beyond those 12 steps at 540 and, um, of course, the miracles just at the level of 600 uh, and he's going all the way up to 1,000 and developing that capacity, uh, that intense, uh, intense, ability to drop everything uh in the world uh and to go for the for the for the end end stage okay well there's there's no duality as soon as you recognize that you can uh all of them happen simultaneously it's like um they happen almost like so uh the person who asked the question said there's the awareness of the observer so the observer is already detached and watching, um, so you have a 12-step sponsor saying, like, um, uh, asking you to share your moral inventory, and you share that with the sponsor, and and you remain in the observer while that automatically seems to be unfolding. And while you stay in the observer, you, uh, the book is it's not open from the ego. The book is just part of what happens autonomously. Uh, of course, the miracles lesson is flipped open, and the lesson is is simultaneously done with from the observer. It doesn't have to be done by the ego. So the 12 steps is done from the observer. It doesn't have to happen from the ego doing the 12 steps. So that practice then becomes non-dual in nature of unconditional love and of... Um, so everything can happen from the observer and then these things just happen effortlessly, uh, non-dualistically. So one that's one's intention. So they all happen and they all support you. I, I say to do that because the 12 steps and uh, having a sponsor and the Course in Miracles offer levels of protection. Um, even if uh, while you're doing the more advanced work simultaneously, but in this world of um, not having the discernment of the third eye, having a sponsor, having the 540 support field of meetings, um, and also doing the course lessons, but not doing them from the ego, but let, also simultaneously letting them happen from the observer. So it's so just allowing one state to be in the observer and developing Hawkins' intense intenseness for the final runway to drop all uh, ego attachments and fears, not indulge the ego's payoffs from the world and perception. So they all have, they, there is no duality. You can drop the ego's thing of there is a duality. There is no duality. Uh, the way to drop the duality is to recognize that everything can happen from the observer. There is no you who is doing the 12 steps. There is no you, uh, individual, separate self that does the Course in Miracles. They happen spontaneously, intuitively, in simultaneously in front of the detached witnesser. So the the feel the so they all they all occur just like walking in the park can happen from the field of the observer. Uh, the twelve steps and the Course in Miracles lessons can also just um, autonomously happen without the need for a separate self doing it. It's only the separate self if you energize that that creates a duality. How can I do both at the same time? So if you dissolve that, uh, don't, don't worry. You know there is no duality. Okay, so that's the first one. Uh, let's get to the second one, lying. It, it has been answered, but I'd add a few notes. Um, if you've got access to muscle testing, self-muscle testing, muscling with another, if you can develop that or get a, or get a kinesiologist to um, uh, check the, uh, the consciousness of everything, every person, place, situation, uh, uh, that's very, very good because you have weak points like finances or whatever. So they can check, you know, oh, I think this investment's really good. And this guy sounds really trustworthy. And you check it and you go, oh, the guy calibrates like a dinosaur at 70. And I was going to give him all my money. So you get a lot of uh, spiritual growth that way because your ego can't discern it. 
so that that's that also i would say the other thing is if you're um if you don't know if you don't i mean truth versus falsehood just familiar size familiar there's thousands of vibration uh, calibrations that hawkins done music uh, um, cathedrals uh, spiritual teachers books so just um that will save you a lot of years of just getting spiritual discernment of discernment in the world with someone having done the calibrations and also uh, i would say spiritual discernment just have a spiritual mentor don't underestimate having a, an advanced sponsor or a group of individuals who are very advanced to say hey you've gone way off course there you're in your ego and to pull you back um so uh, the ego has blind spots and even if you're doing a lot of work um, having a mentor or a group is uh invaluable so that's the lying question that's the 12 step question okay uh what is this financial fear well yes you can cancel your financial fears but i do also recommend if you're um in financial fear uh joining debtors well i can't really say it in the video joining a 12-step group related to money there, there's there's a few like under owners anonymous debtors anonymous um and um just join one of them and that will give you the 540 energy field very rapidly of and the support of a sponsor potentially to make sure you're not uh, you're not doing stupid stuff around finances it's quite basic it's not enlightenment but it does help you avoid a lot of gross errors um uh, and okay uh and just uh if ask me this question again uh, and i'll go into it in much more detail I usually try to avoid this in groups, not to scare people, but I'll briefly touch on it. So there are very there are there are energies out of body, and also they inhabit bodies. Um, people who are being used by these energies in the world, uh, the Luciferic, uh, the Satanic, and the Abraxic uh, energies. So the um, Hawkins extensively talks about the Luciferic, uh, which can be in bodies or influencing you from fields outside of the body and i can give you a lot of stuff from that but obviously if you go to a very dark place with dark energies you start to get thoughts and ideas which aren't stemming from yourself um you're taking a, a, a lot of alcohol suddenly you have these thoughts come in your mind they're not actually coming from you they're, you're being influenced by certain things so the, those are the Luc luciferic satanic and abraxic energies uh, which can actually talk to you through other individuals or you can become susceptible by going to places or taking drugs or alcohol where you're influenced by these energies which can also be out of the body so um, uh, doing an extensive um, I, I recommend listening to Hawkins and having a muscle tester and a 12-step sponsor uh, they'll tell you you know uh, don't go to a um, a drug field party playing gangster rap music um you might think you're you're very good but by the end of the day um horrific things may happen to you so it's just good to to and if you if you do hawkins work you realize even the music you listen to the places you visit uh the drugs and the tv programs you you watch um and also the you know that most t spiritual teachers have fallen uh, unless you get the muscle tested i mean all of these things will help safeguard you from um, being influenced by these energies okay i don't want to take too long i'll stop the video there uh, let's find the stop thing ask me again if you want a more detailed answer